What does a powerhead do in an aquarium? First off, let's focus on what a powerhead actually is, since the term powerhead is often used as a catch-all to describe several different types of small submersible water pumps, including wave pumps, but traditionally, they are a relatively inexpensive and compact AC-powered centrifugal pump with an inlet and an outlet designed to move water from one point to another with a strong, focused jet of flow. A powerhead is one of the most versatile water pumps aquarists have at their disposal, and they are great for a number of different roles, including filtration, aeration, and maintenance, but also not so great at other roles. So let's see what powerheads like this one do best. One of the most common uses for powerheads is to power different types of filtration. They pull water in from the aquarium and then force it through a nozzle that can be hooked up to different types of filtration, like media reactors, hang-on refugiums, UV sterilizers, and more, essentially making them a very small utility pump. Most powerheads come with a variety of attachments as well so that they can easily fit a variety of tubing sizes, making it easy to adapt them to your particular piece of equipment. Powerheads are also an excellent tool for maintenance, whether that's mixing up fresh salt water or pumping that salt water from the bucket on the floor up to your tank. You can also use them to vacuum out your sump or rear chamber of your all-in-one when you pair them up with some specialized attachments. They can be used to blow debris out of hard to reach places like the cracks and crevices of your rock work or between your coral colonies, suspending it in the water where it can be removed by your filtration or siphoned out during a water change. Powerheads like this can also be used inside of the aquarium up near the top of the water where they can break that surface tension and facilitate gas exchange, which can be very helpful in temporary holding tanks or quarantine systems where more expensive wave pumps would be underutilized. With that said, one place that powerheads like this one do not perform well is inside our display tanks. That focused and punchy jet of water that a powerhead provides is much too harsh anywhere close to the pump and dissipates too quickly as you move away from the pump for it to provide the kind of flow our fish and corals need to thrive. If placed too close to this type of powerhead, a coral's flesh can be bombarded with flow until it literally peels off, which is why you don't really see powerheads like this being used inside of our reef tanks. Wave pumps, on the other hand, are specifically designed to provide our reefs with gentle, indirect, yet massive flow patterns that are found on natural reefs, and those types of pumps are definitely the right choice for that application. And I will mention for the sake of being fair that there are a few powerheads out there, like these MaxiJet powerheads by Marineland, that actually include a conversion kit to swap them over to an inexpensive AC propeller style wave pump, in which case you could use them as a budget option for providing that type of flow to your corals, but typically the dedicated wave pump options tend to do a better job while being less obtrusive, quieter, and oftentimes with DC control or even full-blown app control. Wave pumps also come in different styles and move water in different ways, so selecting the right type of wave pump for your particular aquarium is a little bit more involved, but don't worry, Ryan and Randy are going to demystify that for you in this BRS Buyer's Guide on wave pumps right here, so check it out. 